This is a demonstration of the simple uh, to use and set up uh, Panasonic Artex network system with the Trio MC464. What we have is a two axis uh, system with uh, Artex cables you can see in red uh, as a simple loop using standard Ethernet cables uh, and the MC464 is connected to a, a PC via Ethernet um, and we're running the Motion Perfect version 3 software on there. Okay, so let's have a look. So this is the view we have in the Motion Perfect version 3 programming software. So what we're going to do is connect to the controller in synchron synchronized mode. And you can see we have a control panel on the left hand side here. And if I open up the controller configuration, one thing I need to point out is that we have the controller set to a servo period of 500. Um, this is because the drives, when you take them out of the box, their default is 500 microsecond cycle time. So we have to set the controller the same. And to do that, we've made a configuration file here. So if I just open that up and let you see it, that's the only command we've had to do to get the MC464 working with these two drives. Other than that, we've connected the wires, we've powered up, it's actually all running. And we can see this if we open up the Intelligent Drives configuration. This talks to the network and we can see our two drives are on there. They're numbered axes 0 and 1 within the controller. So let's just park this over on the right hand side there just uh, to keep it in view. Now we're going to write a very simple program. We can go straight into this. So we're going to go program and new and it's a basic type program and we'll give it the name demo1 and we'll just give this a little title demo for Artex we'll call it and then there are literally three commands to get this system running and get the drives active the first one is we have to activate the servo loop inside the controller for each for each axis so we have to do servo equals on but we're going to do it by axis so servo axis 0 equals on and servo and you can see here we actually have a, an auto complete um, and uh, it does suggest which uh, which commands we would like to use I could click on there and it will it will complete the servo for me um, but sometimes it's quicker to type so I'm going to do that axis 1 equals on and the third thing we need to do to get the, the system running is to turn on the watchdog, which uh, enables the, all the drives. So wjog equals on. And if I run those three li lines, uh, my drives are running and I'm actually ready to, uh, to do some motion. Um, but just to be a little bit more clever than this, uh, I want to actually program this in revs um, in terms of moves and speeds. So I'm going to calibrate each axis as well. So I'm going to put in here a value called units. Uh, and again per axis, axis 0. And I'm going to set this to the number of counts per revolution and it's 10,000 on these motors so 10,000 counts equals one rev. So I'm going to do that for the first axis and let's just do a copy and paste on here to speed things up and change that to axis 1. So now we're ready to go and uh, we're calibrated so let's make a little um, uh, repeat loop so I'm going to use a while instruction, while true, and that means it will repeat forever. So at the end of this will be a wind, which means while end. So inside this we're going to set the speed for each axis. So speed equals, uh, let's run them at 50 revs per second, and we're going to set the axel to 10 times that so that the acceleration profile uh, runs in a uh, tenth of a second. And decel the same. And then we're going to do a move. And we'll move 10 revs. And that's it. That's, uh, that's all we need to do to get a move running. Now we want this be, to be particular to our, our um, axis 0. So I can, I can make all of those commands as a group run on axis 0 by using the base command. So I set base 0 and then I can highlight that, copy it and paste it down here for the second axis and just change the base there to 1. 
we'll also make the second axis run five revs instead of ten. Now the other thing is I I would like each of these moves to run after the the the, the one before it is finished. So I'm going to put a wait in here, uh, and wait idle means that we are going to wait until that axis has completed its move before we go on to the next command in the program. So we can wait idle for that one. So this will now cycle between the two axes. 10 revs on one, 5 revs on the other at, at the set speeds. OK, so this is good to go. Let's uh, open up the axis parameters so we can see what's happening. So there's axis parameters. I'm going to dock this as well over on the side, so we'll, we'll put the axis parameters there. Uh, you can see the units here, the defaults for units is 1, the defaults for speed is 1000, but we'll see that change as we run the program. So let's go. Press the run button, and away it goes. You can see our units as programmed, we can see the speeds axon D cell is programmed, and if we come down here we can see the positions changing, and we can see that the move is alternating between these two axes. There we go. The update on this is relatively slow, so um, the moves are actually going faster than this, but you're uh, you're seeing just the capture of it every half of a second. Okay, so that's it. Everything's running.